child was a boy, okay, and was identified yeah. as a boy, and then they can find out on parents' evening, presumably, that that child of theirs that they gave birth to and lovingly raised for the first 10 years of its life had been changing its gender to that of a girl for the last year or so in school, potentially, without the school bothering to inform the parents? Well, often it's not even that the parents are finding out at, at, at parents' evening. In, in some cases, the parents are not finding out at all because the schools are just not telling them. We've had several examples of parents who've contacted us where their children have been trans effectively at school and they've only found out much later when they found out from their their child or the child suddenly announced that they're that they are going by a different name um some children have been going to school um and the the, the schools have been facilitating them allowing them to change into different uniforms and be identified by different pronouns at school without telling the parents at all which is which, which is terrible why aren't they telling them? Because if it's all about, I'm sorry, but if it's all about child health care and child mental health and child well-being and all of this stuff, why on earth would you encourage them to live a lie at home? Because the schools are being advised by external organisations who are telling them not to contact parents and telling mm -hmm. them telling them to keep sec secrets from parents and telling children to keep secrets from parents. It's all coming from external organisations who, who have this as their policy. Uh, and I am concerned that there's a wider push here about the breakdown of the nuclear family and a deliberate one. Because from if we take it back to its root cause here now, you have children at nursery schools essentially, essentially being shown drag shows. You've then got them parents unable to opt out of LGBTQ plus uh, events at the school. You've potentially then got someone who is not a child psychologist or therapist coming in to talk to them about whether or not they've been born into the wrong body. You've got people on Twitter making, it would appear, a lot of money out of telling kids to talk to them privately one-to-one -one and to go no contact with their parents. And you've now got yeah. schools also not telling parents when their child is at least saying that it's going to change gender. Is there something more sinister going on here? Yes, it's, it's not even that it's happening, that it's happening sort of in, in, in secret, that these organisations are quite plainly saying what their agenda is. You've got organisations like Educate and Celebrate that's in hundreds and hundreds of primary schools and their mission, they're open about it on their website, their mission is to smash heteronormativity. That, that they're saying that, that's their mission statement. Um, but the problem is, is that the Department for Education has been funding these organisations. Um, they've been spending money on Stonewall. They've been giving money to organisations like Educate and Celebrate mm. to go into schools and to spread this message. So it, it, it is sinister. There is an underlying current and an agenda to break down the, the traditional family. Um, that, that is what these organisations are trying to do. Your son or daughter got into a fight at school. You probably want to hear about it. I know I would. The same would apply if they were being bullied or falling behind in class. Clearly, parents have a right to know what's happening in their children's lives so they can offer support in whatever way they can. So what about if your child decides to transition to another gender? You probably want to know about that, wouldn't you? I've had four kids. I'd want to know. But it turns out that a shocking number of schools in Britain think you, as parents, have no right to know that. Children are being allowed to change their names, their uniforms and their personal pronouns, that dreaded phrase, using different toilets and changing rooms without their parents having a clue about any of this happening. Just 39 of 304 schools investigated by the policy exchange think tank said they informed parents if their own child said they wanted to change gender. In many cases, parents only found out when they got a letter from the post citing their child's new name and new pronouns as a point of fact. Think about that. That's how the parents found out their kids had decided to change their gender and their name. Most school surveys said they're actively teaching the contested theory that children may have a different gender than their biological sex. This is completely outrageous. It's policy driven by fear of the woke mob. If a child identifies...